Okay, we are starting on our cutouts for our servos on our main wing section. And what I use to carve this out, and it does a pretty good job, is I used my Dremel tool again with a multi-purpose um, cutting bit. And I have this little drywall guide. Um, and it has a, a dial on it where you can dial in the depth that you want to cut and measuring the the depth of the servo as it's going to be setting in the wing is six millimeters so i set the depth on my guide at six millimeters and i just put it on top of a couple of pieces of wood board to get it up off the table and have a nice flat surface and then you just you know turn it on plunge it in and then you just start carving out inside the area where you have already um, outlined your servo. The only thing um, additional that I had to do was I removed my guide and then I made this little angled divot here at the end of the control arm so that I could get to the screw that holds the control arm on. So if I ever need to remove the control arm I should be able to do that. And we are fairly flush on that uh, cutout for the servo. Um, I don't know, it's probably maybe two millimeters higher than the wing. And that's because the foam gives a little bit when you're carving it out. It's fairly spongy foam, but I think that's gonna work well. I think, um, I think, that, I think that's gonna be flush enough for those servos. I think that's gonna, gonna work really well. So I'm gonna go ahead and then cut out my other servo in the main wing section and then I have this lined out here where I'm going to use a piece of bamboo skewer I'm gonna I guess I'll have to put up a guide and use that drywall fixture again for the Dremel tool and well I don't know I'll have to see if I want to use that that might, uh, might actually cut it too wide for a bamboo skewer I'm probably gonna have to actually do this with an exacto blade cut it in the center Go right down the center with the blade about three millimeters deep and then make a 45 degree cut on each side pull out a wedge section of foam so that the barbecue skewer will lay down in there and be flush with the bottom side of the wing and uh, the diameter of the barbecue skewer is three millimeters so as long as we cut out a v i think that's three three and a half millimeters out of this center section right here we should be able to lay the barbecue skewer in and have it flush with the rest of the wing plate so all right so i will continue here to carve out my outline for my other servo get my divot made so i can get to the screws on the servo arm when i need to and then we'll finish up this section be back in a few okay so we are back i have my channel cut out for my wing spar and I had to use an exacto blade to do that. I tried to I tried to start it with the with the Dremel tool and um, it was just cutting too wide for a three millimeter uh, bamboo skewer. So I ended up doing what I was talking about doing earlier, which was just going down three millimeters through the center with the exacto blade and then coming over about a millimeter and a half and making a 45 and then making another 45 and I had to go through that process a couple of times to get everything cut out and then just went through and peeled it up and uh, so now I have a nice I have a channel that's going to allow this bamboo skewer to be flush with the bottom of the wing plate I have both of my pockets for my servos cut out so at this point what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use some hot glue and glue in my uh, barbecue skewer for my my wing spar and then in the uh, next episode I believe we will be cutting out our flapper on sections and hinging those up so I will see you in the next section.